everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be making diy cake pops inspired by the little mermaid this is what you are going to need frosting of your choice i'm using this one you are also going to need candy melts of whatever color you like and fondant this is like edible play-doh if you are wondering you will also need treat sticks for your cake pops and i also did pick up this mold that's going to help us make fun fondant decorations for our cake pops okay let's begin by making the cake i will be following the directions on the back of the box the only thing i am changing is the one cup of water for one cup of milk i feel that when i add milk instead of water it makes the cake so much better guys definitely try it out okay so we're just going to mix it up and get it ready to go in the oven Alright guys, so now I'm just going to put this in the oven and now it is out of the oven and it is cooling down. It is finally cool enough where I'm going to cut it in half. Now you are going to take about half of the cake and crumble it up with your hands or you can use a stand mixer like what I'm using here. You need your cake to be all crumbled up and now you are going to add two big spoonfuls of the frosting and you are going to mix it up again till it's like a play-doh consistency i am going to take this tablespoon here to help me shape my cake pops I think my cake pops are a little big, but that's okay. I was doing this just for fun and it was a lot of fun. So all you have to do is roll it up into a ball like this. And I was trying to do a mermaid tail cake pop, but it was a huge fail. Now you are going to melt your candy melts. So all I'm going to do is put them in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time until they are melted like this. And now what we are going to do is take one of these sticks and dip it in the chocolate and then we're going to insert it into our cake pop. And we're going to do this to all the cake pops. And then we're going to put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes. While the cake pops are in the freezer, we are going to make fondant decorations. I'm going to begin by making the sticky star. This looks super easy, but trust me, it was not. <laughs> it was actually a lot of work to make this fondant decorations. But what I realized is that I was adding way too much fondant. This was the most difficult decoration to make. It's an octopus. Next, I made a seahorse. And now I am going to be making a mermaid tail. And guys, this turned out super cute. Look at all this edible decorations. Our cake pops have been in the freezer for about 15 minutes. So now we are going to dip them in the candy melt. All we do is just dip it and carefully take it out. And now we have our cake pop. We're going to let this dry for a few minutes. Okay, now this was a huge fail, but it turned out okay. The chocolate started to harden up. The chocolate needs to be warm when you dip the cake pop into it. But anyway, it still worked out. Once the chocolate dries up, as you can see, it's going to be really hard and it's not going to be like runny. If you would like to add sprinkles, add the sprinkles as soon as you bring the cake pop out of the chocolate. I'm going to be using the melted chocolate as glue for my decorations so it can stick to the cake pop like this and my mermaid tail broke but that's okay i just added it to the cake pop and i think it turned out really cute look at that isn't that adorable 
This DIY was so much fun and the cake pops were so yummy and they were super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!